If your sole experience of Marcelo Bielsa was watching Lille's 3-0 defeat to Strasbourg in the second game of Liga this season, you'd be forgiven for thinking he was something of a newcomer to football management. There were three substitutions before half-time which forced Bielsa to play an outfielder in goal once Mike Maynard was sent off. The outfielder was then swapped for another outfielder and the match descended into something of a farce. But Marcelo Bielsa is, in fact, one of the most exciting, innovative coaches in world football and his brand of attacking possession-based football, played with a high tempo and often based on a 3-3-1-3 formation, has influenced managers like Pep Guardiola, Maurizio Pochettino and Diego Simeone. Bielsa, nicknamed El Loco, the Mad One, is obsessive in his preparation, using videos to explain opposition systems to his teams. He favours a 3-3-1-3 formation, which sees three central defenders, a deep screening midfielder, wide midfielders or wingbacks, a creative midfielder in the hole, and a front three with two wide men who stretch the play. Bielsa alters his formations to suit his opposition though, sometimes using a 4-2-3-1 with high fullbacks. His aim is to have one more centre-back than the opposition have strikers, which facilitates his high line and pressing style of play, as only one spare defender means there are more players to push forwards. Bielsa gets his teams to play with ferocious pace, despite also favouring a possession-based game. This requires huge technical skill from his squad, and he frequently plays midfielders such as Gary Medell or Lille's Ibrahim Amadou in central defensive roles to ensure they have the ball skills to pass out from the back. Bielsa also uses fullbacks as centre-backs because he believes they are better able to carry the ball, and even deployed Arturo Vidal as a wing-back when coaching Chile. His defenders are expected to pass the ball among themselves and the goalkeeper before recycling possession wide. The essential shape of a Bielsa 3-3-1-3, which is his favoured system, creates a kind of bowl shape in the defensive line, with the deep midfielder dropping into that space to patrol the middle of the pitch and assisting the centre-backs. At Lille, Thiago Mendes or Thiago Maia perform this role, and they are the fulcrum around which much of the play rotates. The wing-backs or wide midfielders, and with Bielsa the distinction is blurred, push high and often ahead of the holding midfielder. Ahead of them are the 1-3 component, the element with which Bielsa rarely, if ever, tinkers. And where El Ghazi and Luis Arau at Lille play as wide as possible, stretching the opponent's full-backs and creating overloads in the wide spaces with the wing-backs. Between them plays a striker, Nicola de Preville, and what Argentinian football refers to as an enganche, literally a hook, a playmaker with very limited defensive responsibilities who acts as a prompt for the attacking moves. Yassine Benzia, the former Lyon player, fulfills this role at Lille, having been converted from a centre-forward. Even when Bielsa abandoned the 3-3-1-3 at Athletic Bilbao in favour of a four-man defence, he played two holding midfielders behind an advanced enganche and three forwards too wide. The intention is to play with pace and width, high up the pitch, passing in triangles and moving off the ball to form a kind of attacking whirlwind that opposition players struggle to mark. There is an emphasis on verticality, transitioning the ball rapidly forwards to force the opposition back. Players rotate, switching the focus of attack and are expected to be able to fill in for one another. To improvise within the system, there is something of the positional fluidity of total football in Bielsa's approach. He also preaches pressing. Bielsa doesn't set up a team to play in a defensive block and an attacking one, all of his players are expected to run and hassle while also playing a high line that minimises the opposition's room to develop play. The demands on Bielsa's players are as intense as his style of management and his style of football. The physical demands are obvious, but the mental ones are there too. Pre-planned passing moves must be learned. The opposition studied to a meticulous degree and positional play mastered, especially tricky when playing such an idiosyncratic formation. But Marcelo Bielsa is without doubt something of a footballing genius and his tactics, fluid, erudite, innovative, demand more analysis than a short video like this can provide. Watch Lille this season, whatever happens, however mad it gets, you'll learn something. <laughs>